Hi, good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Can you Hi, hear teacher. me? Hello, teacher. Hi. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? How's everybody tonight? Good. All right. Very good. So I have Oscar, Carlita, Vicky, Roberto, Domingo, and Anita. Hi, guys. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi. How are you? All right, guys. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi, Domingo. All right, guys. So we're going to continue today with what we stopped um, on yesterday. And then we're going to see Ever and Roberto and Chamba's presentation. Esa fue la única que nos quedó pendiente ayer. All right. So later we're going to do that. Okay. So, guys, let's keep on working on page 26, exercise four. I'm going to share my book right now. Hi, Chamba. All right, so here, guys, can you see my screen? Hola, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. Yes, teacher. Yeah, okay, perfect. Okay, so here. Uh, yes? Uh, ¿Cómo es eso? Abajo, un poco más arriba aquí. ¿Me escuchan suavecito? No, ah, la imagen está muy ah, abajo. Ya, yeah, ok, yo no pensé que el volumen. All right, very good. Thank you, Domingo. Very good. So here we have your next three product line. All right, so for exercise four, we have the building vocabulary. Let's see, Domingo, ya que está por ahí. Please read this, this right here. Uh, is writing the advantages of the prototyping, prototyping from most relevant uh, one. Form okay. from most relevant. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. To list relevant six uh, dis discuss your writing while with a banner. All right, thank you. All right, thank you, um, Domingo. It says rank the advantages of prototyping from most relevant to least relevant. Discuss your ranking with a partner, okay? So do we understand what rank is? Do we know what rank is, guys? What no, is teacher. All right, okay, very good. Does anybody know what rank is so we can, you guys can help us out here? All right, rank is like evaluation. Es como ponerle una calificación, como evaluar. All right, so rank es cuando ponemos el, el valor más relevante y el menos relevante en este caso. All right, so we go from one to six. Most relevant is number one and least relevant is number six. So most is el más relevante y least is el menos relevante. Okay, and yeah. then we're going to discuss this with everybody else. Number one, a ver, Oscar, si usted me ayuda a leer las primeras dos, Ana, las siguientes dos, and let's see, Chamba, las últimas dos, all right? This. Okay, obtain more detail to describe the product more effectively. Yes. Verify the functionality of the product, e.g. Identify flaws that were not for, foreseen in the design stage. Okay, thank you. Next one, number three and four. Who's reading three and four? Review initial products, shapes, oh. or branding ima image. Elicit feedback from customers 
or early adopters. Thank you, Mariano. Excellent, very good. And the last two, Chamba? Assess the performance of various materials, ensure potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototype, sourcing the parts, putting them together. Excellent, thank you. All right, so here it says, number one, it says obtain more details to describe the product more effectively. La pronunciación de S es effectively. La fuerza de voz va en effectively, all right? Luego dice verify the functionality, functionality of the product. E.g. is example, example, identify, acuérdense que se la vimos ayer, identify flaws that were not foreseen in the design stage. Number three, review initial product shapes or branding images, okay? Number four, we have elicit feedback from customers on early adopters. Uh, then we have two, four, five, I believe it's assess the performance of various materials. And the last one, ensure potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototype, sourcing the parts, putting them together, etc. All right, so we have this vocabulary here. Yo sé que hay más de alguna palabra que no sabemos. All right, quiero que subrayen ustedes. You do the underlining, o lo copian aparte, of the words that you may not know. All right, les doy dos minutitos para que hagamos eso. Voy a dejar de compartir ahorita para tener la lista de asistencia cerca. All right, so you guys can um, work on that right now. Revise todo el vocabulario en lo que yo busco mi asistencia aquí. All right, very good. Are you ready? Hi, Carla. Hi, Walter. Oh, Mariano, of course. Ever, Jorgito, Trini, Debbie, Thank you. Claudia. Excellent. Thank you, guys. All right. Good evening. All right, guys. So, did you check the vocabulary that we have from the exercise? Para los que van entrando, estamos en la página 26, exercise 4. Ahorita, eh, checking vocabulary. All right. A ver. Any word, del primero que estamos aquí, obtain more details to describe the product more effectively, vocabulario en esa, or everything is okay? Effectively. Excuse me, Anita. Effectively, what do you mean? Es como de forma efectiva. Más efectivamente, lo que pasa es que es, es un adverbio, all right? Effectively. De forma efectiva. Okay. All right. You put, put time. Yeah. More ¿Cuál domingo? ¿En la primera? Yes. Eh, obtain. Obtain. Yes. Obtener. Obtain. Obt obtain es obtener, sí. Obtener. Obtain, yes. Uh -huh. All right, on the second one, it says very. Yes. For. For. Sin, for. Sin, o ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Ah, en la segunda. Sí. Ahorita vamos a ir. Verify the functionality of the product. Example, identify flaws that were not foreseen in the design stage. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es foreseen? Teacher, EG, EG is example. Yes, yes Anita. Okay. Right. Ahora, foreseen es previstas. Ahora right. que no fueron previstas en el, es en el, um, en el paso de, de diseño, por ejemplo. 
All right, foreseen, previsto. All right, the next one we have review initial product shapes or branding images, vocabulary on that one, or everything is fine for that one. Okay. What does it mean change? Shapes. Yes. Shapes would be formas. Review initial product shapes. All right. Y las imágenes de branding. Mm -hmm. Shape es una forma. Hi. Hello, Abner. Hi, Abner. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hi, how are you today? I'm great. How about you? Super good. Excellent. Long time no see. <laughs> Just four days. Yep. You okay? I'm so good. I'm great. Excellent. Nice to hear. So welcome back. All right. Very good. So what about elicit feedback from customers or early adopters? What is elicit? ¿Esa lo han puesto o no? ¿Ya sabemos qué quiere decir esa? I don't know. No. Anybody knows? No, teacher. I is that you? Yes, teacher. I'm here. All right. Good. Thank you. I'm going to read it later. Um, excellent. Let's see. Elicit is obtener. It's otra forma de decir obtain. Para no redundar en obtain, 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 you can say elicit. All right. Elicit. Elicit. Así tal cual está. Elicit. Okay. All right. Uh, feedback sabemos que es, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, yes. yes miss. Yes. yes. Right. Alimentación. That's right. Yes. Assess the performance of various materials. What is, do you have any questions for that one? Process. What does it mean assess? Okay, ya sabía yo. All right, it's como evaluar. Assess, evaluar. Ya podría ser una forma de traducir assess to evaluate. All right, any other? Michelle, I'm sorry. Can I end this seat? Bien, perdón. Eh, no, me perdí que era elicit. Elicit es obtain, es un sinónimo de obtain. Usted puede decir oh, el ah. get more information or obtain more information. Ah, ok, thank you. What you haces puede ser evaluar, valorar. All right, but in this case es evaluar. Accept es igual a obtener, a rap. Perdone, Domingo. All right. Uh, access. Yes, yes, evaluate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Vamos a ver. What about the last one? Ensure potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototype. Everything okay with that one? Yes? No? Capable? Excuse me? Uh, capable, pregunta Claudita. Capaces de. Si yo le digo, are you capable of uh, teaching an English class? Es capaz de. All right. Okay. I'm going to take attendance. And lo que se siguen revisando por ahí. I'm going to take attendance right now, guys, please. So pay attention to your name. Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. I'm here. Thank you. Adela Trinidad Gonzalez Consuelo. Present. Thank you. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Domingo Alexander Gonzalez. Present. Ever de Jesús Candray Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle. Sure. ¿no? Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Present, Present teacher. 
<laughs> ah, okay. Hold on. Ah, what am I doing? Is Kevin here? No, right? A ver, permítame. Okay. Uh, Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present miss. Thank you, Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. Okay, Walter Omar Garzaneda Perlera. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Present teacher. Y Nora Gutiérrez de Durán. And we have Bismarck. Present teacher. Bismarck Ulises Martinez Ortiz. All right. Excellent. Let me see here. Okay, guys, so here, uh, before I will, I mean, I'm going present to... teacher, no me mencionó. No, David, no la mencioné. No, si yo soy la última. Ah, pero en, 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 en automático le puse asistencia, no se preocupe. All right. Ah, ok. <laughs> sí, ya la tengo. A ver, antes de irnos a los grupos para hacer la primera actividad de la noche, I want the group of Eve, Roberto, and Chamba to present the um, product presentation que no, no, no logramos terminar ayer. All right, so. I don't know if who's gonna share ever or is gonna share Chamba's gonna share or Roberto's gonna share the screen. Sorry, teacher, I, I can't I can uh, share because I'm my my cell phone. Okay, that's fine. What about Chamba or Ever? Who's sharing? Yes, miss. I'm sharing. Thank you, Chamba. <laughs> Ustedes no tienen que terminar, él no lo hizo. Porque otra prima, la vez pasada, que también estábamos juntos, regañó a los caritos y dijo a llorar el chico. Llorí yo. Y ahí mi primo está la gran cara. Domingo, relax, Domingo. <laughs> All right, we're just going to wait for Chamba to share, and then... Um, and I'm sorry, teacher. <laughs> You're just happy, that's good. All right, I can see it now. Okay. The name of the product is uh, Back Dog. Okay. Description of the product is, is necessary back for carry on the thing your pets, easy to use, practical, resistant, waterproof, made with recyclable material and lightweight. Okay. Ever. Okay, Chamba, uh, thank you. The target audience and potential customer that will be the pet lovers. Runners dog and and single couple. Oh, okay. For example, no. Okay. 
Ok, Robert. Ok. The, the method is uh, monadic method uh, because the consumer use the product in real circumstances. They use a product side it, handle it, uh, write it, let it let later and with the overall perception of the product. Excellent. Okay. Focus group. What activity would you like to use the bad dog for? What kind of weather would you like to use the back the back dog for? In your opinion, the bad the back dog is comfortable comfortable for long trips, for mini toys, dog lovers. Why would you want a bag that can hold your dog and his stuff? In your own experience, what part of the bag dog would you like to change for better performance? Nice. What type of dog do you recommend them for? <laughs> what type of strap do you prefer to use? Right, flexible or retractable? Who was your experience with our website? The doggies, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. The back dog. For all pet lovers, the back dog has the best comfort option for you can, for you and your lady puppy. Furthermore, it's made with recyclable material. Besides, it's designed for a kind of dog. What's more, it's easy to use and clean. Also, you can phone in whatever market. Okay. Mm -hmm. Three features. Okay, three features. Uh, first, reflective bands. Oh, okay. And then, what, what are the waterproof and recyclable materials. Recyclable material, nice, okay. Okay. Esa me la mandó ayer, ¿verdad? Yes, teacher. All right. I sent on the... Yes, thank you. Perfect, thank you. Shamba, you may stop sharing now. Thank you. All right, perfect guys. So I saw all the groups. All right, hopefully I wanna I wanna talk about the presentations on Friday that we may have a little like more time to talk about it. All right. Obviamente siempre hay cositas de typo, le llamamos, le llamamos typo a esos errores, por ejemplo, y lo vi en varias que ponemos product y como está en español el keyboard nos resulta producto. All right, pero esos son typos, all right. Yo sé que ustedes querían escribir product, pero la computadora insistió en poner producto, so that's fine. All right, entonces esos son errores que se van porque todo nuestro keyboard está en Spanish, that's fine. Igual hay eh, ciertas palabras que como grupo, por decir así, en general, nos cuestan todavía pronunciar, entonces he identificado un par y eso lo vamos a ver el viernes, hopefully, para ponerle atención a eso y tratar de improve, ¿verdad? Porque de eso se trata acá. Igual, algunos eh, verbos, cuando le ponemos, tenemos que ponerle S o otros que no tenemos que ponerle S y se nos va la S, all right, entonces esa, esa grammar, digamos, sencilla, all right, pero que todavía está presente por ahí. De lo contrario, everything I've seen is very, very nice. It's very creative. Me parece interesante eh, los párrafos, porque los párrafos, ¿se acuerdan que la idea fue que cada quien del grupo hiciera uno? Y luego escogíamos el, el que nos gustaba mejor a todos, por decirlo así. All right, so that's very interesting. Y me gusta la forma en que se nota que pusieron las transitions of addition words Furthermore, in addition, besides, so you guys are applying what you're learning and that's the whole purpose, okay? So that's very, very nice. Entonces el viernes quiero tener como un, una recopilación de todos los trabajos y decir, okay, so this is what we have to 
like fog is on but pretty much you guys are doing super nice so congratulations for that to everyone no lo pierdas déjelo guardado porque ya vamos a ir viendo si le agregamos más cosas a medida pasa la unidad 3 y la unidad 4 all right so guys let's go back here now to page 26 y qué vamos a hacer acá here we're going to work on this. Ya lo leímos, ya vimos vocabulary. Entonces, now we're going to go to our groups y vamos a rank. Le vamos a dar eh, un porcentaje, por decir, o un número, una evaluación. ¿Cuál es lo más relevante para ustedes y cuál es lo menos relevante? Entonces, vamos. Rank the advantages. Hablamos de advantages. Nada más. Los, las ventajas de los prototyping. Desde el más relevante siendo el primero y el menos relevante siendo el seis. Entonces ahí vamos a ver, por ejemplo, para el grupo de chamba puede ser que review initial product shapes and branding images is number one, sea el más relevante. Puede ser que para el grupo de domingo sea assess the performance of various materials. Cada grupo va a ir decidiendo. No estamos en el grupo del producto, sino que el grupo al azar que la, de la plataforma nos va a hacer. So I want you to work on this. All right. Yeah, ahorita solo trabajemos en esto y luego vamos a ver si hacemos lo que nos pide acá. Si no, vamos a saltar y luego regresamos. So let's work on this right now, guys, please. Ahora, no solo es poner, por ejemplo, ah, este es el número uno para nosotros. Identify the flaws. Okay, this is number one for you, but why? Why is that number one? All right, I want reasons, okay? ¿Por qué? Por decir algo, elicit feedback from customers or early adopters es el menos relevante para ustedes. Why? All right. I want you to give me reasons why. No solo estamos escogiendo because. All right. We, I want, when you come back and I ask you, I want you to tell me why that ranking. Okay? All right, guys. So it's like basically 8.30. Me avisan cuando vayan terminando en el grupo de WhatsApp para no interrumpirles, pero por favor no se les olvide. All right, so let's go right now, guys, to our groups. Igual los que no pueden participar se quedan por aquí. Okay, so let's go.
Hi, Walter, did you finish? Hi, Walter, did you finish? I want to. Okay. Do you want me to send you back? ¿En qué grupo está Walter? Hi, Walter. Hi, I'm coming back. Sorry, that's okay. My internet has problems. Okay, that's okay. Is in algún grupo, Walter? Yes, we chamba in Domingo, I think. In San Juan. Y habían terminado, no? Yes. Okay, all right, okay. Uh, no. Uh, no, no finished? Okay. Vaya, Walter, mire, ahí se puede entrar un ratito más a su grupo, porfa.
Hello, teacher. Hi, Evan. Did you finish? I don't know how, what happened here, but uh, suddenly I... You were out. Like, yes. And, did and you, you, and did you help me, help me. No, me faltaban como a la mitad íbamos. O sea, ya tenemos el orden, solamente estructurando el porqué. Okay. Pero me quedé en la cuarta cuando me quedé sin internet. <risa> ok, ¿en qué grupo estaba? No te preocupes. Estaba con, Bari, con Mariano y con Vanesita. Solo, pichita. <risa> ¿En qué grupo estaba? Vaya, ahorita. Ok, thank you. Me avisa, Neve. Ok. ¿Le salió la invitación, Eve? No, teacher, no me ha salido todavía. Ah, vale, ahorita, espérame. Ah, espérame. Va a regresar. Ahora sí. ¿Ya le salió? Ok. okay. Sí, gracias. Bueno.
Walter se volvió a salir. Hi, Walter.
All right, is everybody coming back now? Yeah, everybody's here. All right, guys, uh, I'm just gonna take attendance right now and then we start sharing some of your ideas, all right? So please pay attention to your name. And we have Abner Elie Fuentes Flores. I'm here. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Daniel Antonio Luna. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. Present teacher. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present teacher. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present teacher. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present teacher. Ah, Carla Vanessa Vázquez de Ayala. Kevin Esteban Mejíbar Merino. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you, Leti. Uh, Mariano Jose Paca Santa Maria. Present teacher. Hold on, guys. All right. Um, Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Laura Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present miss. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemus. Present. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Present. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. I'm here, teacher. Ismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. Debbie Jasmine Girón Ramírez. Oh, sí, Debbie. Present <laughs> teacher. Very good. All right, guys. So let's see. Uh, we had here group one. It was Domingo and Chamba. All right, so for you guys, we're gonna talk about three. We're gonna talk about the most, the least. All right, vamos a ir a extremos. Most and least y el que está en medio. ¿Cuál sería el número tres? And why? So, Chamba and Domingo, what is the most? Uh, just give me a second here. What is the most um, relevant for you guys and why? Which one is number three and why? And which one is the least relevant? The most relevant? The is most, the least, and the so, so one. Uh huh. The three, seven, uh, sentences. Eh, yeah, me van a contar the most, the least, y el que quedó en medio. Y por qué esas tres opciones? Ah, okay. The, the most relevant, uh, the most is a uh, ensure potential manufacturers are capable, capable of the marking, capable of okay. marking the prototype, uh, ensure the parts putting the to to header. Is S3. S3. Yes. Okay. So that is the Before, uh -huh. Domingo that yes. is relevant. A relevant is for is uh, for the side the one of uh, important uh, import uh, the same the trial the prototype tipo eh, specific the product. Okay, so ensure potential structures are capable of making the prototype. That is the most relevant for you guys. Yes? Yes. Yes, miss. All right. And what is the least one, Chamba? The least relevant is review initial product shape or branding image because no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The least relevant is the uh, illicit El feedback from customer or early adopters. Okay. Why? Mm -hmm. 
Why? Because you need the, the final product, or in this case, the prototype, for you can see the more details to describe to the product. Okay. All right. Okay. That's... And how do you say interactive? Interactive? To interact? And, uh -huh. and they, <laughs> you can interact with the product. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you. Antes de seguir, yeah. hay varios bastantes con las cámaras apagadas. No sé qué les pasa. Mariano no la apagaba antes. Ever tampoco. All right, Vicky tampoco. Trini tampoco. I don't know what happened to you guys. Now you're getting lazier and lazier. <laughs> All right, wake up, guys. Come on. You have to turn on your cameras, please. You know that. All right, let's see. Group number two. Vamos a hablar del most relevant and the least relevant. So we have here Abner. Logró trabajar Abner con. Yeah. Okay. We so have. What is the most? We have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me share it, my screen. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can you see? Yes. Okay, we have that. Um, we have um, the first one, uh, elicit feedback from customers or early adopters. The second one, obtain more details to describe the product more eff effectively. Number three, verify the functionality of the product e.g. identifies flow, flows that were not forcing in the design stage. Number four, assess the, the, the performance of various materials. Number five, a review initial product shapes or branding image images, I don't know. And, and six, ensure potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototype, sourcing the parts, putting them together. All right, now why is elicit feedback from customers or early adopters the most relevant for you guys, Avner? I think that it's important to know uh, what the people uh, think about it because in this case, you are going to get the best service or product for them. Because in this in, in this case you can see if they need a, this type of product of you, if you need to make a change for them because uh, finally they are going to get a product that they want to get and no it's not going to be a product that uh, we are going to make and I don't know if they are going to get that. All right, and number six it says ensure potential manufacturers are capable of making the prototype. Why is that the least effect, I mean, the least relevant for you guys? Uh, in this case, uh, I would like to know if uh, Carla wants to answer this question. All right. Uh, oh, you guys, wait, give me a second. Ah. Carla, would you like to answer this question? Abner, you were working with Carla Michelle. Yeah. Buenas noches. ¿Cuál quiere que diga? No se preocupe, Carlita. A ver, ¿por qué con Abner escogieron el, el, la última que era la menos relevante? Uh, porque, bueno, para mí, vea, eh, viéndolo como marketing, como publicidad, este lo vi que, que podría ser esa la última. Yo lo vi de ese punto, ¿verdad? pero no sé. Realmente la elegimos claro, los no. dos eh, porque eh, es eh, eh, como que el punto menos importante porque al final es eh, quien arma el producto. Okay. Sí es cierto que tenemos que asegurarnos que se arme bien el producto, pero eh, no es como que lo que va, no es de eso de que depende la venta o 
las ganas de comprar de la gente. Y es, eso es lo que estábamos hablando con, con Carla en, en la reu que tuvimos. <ríe> Very good. Thank you, guys. That was nice. Thank you, Amne. Thank you, Michelle. Very nice. All right. Let's continue with the other group. Let me see. What about group? Let's, we're going to talk about two more groups here. A ver. Sala five. Ever, Mariano, and Vane. Y luego, um, maybe we're going to go with Sala six, Anita, and Vicky. So what can you tell us, guys? I know you may stop sharing for a second. Thank you. All right. Avner, do you want to stop share? Like, stop sharing now, please? Yes, I'm sorry. That's okay. All right, thank you. All right. So, Mariano's group was Ever, I think it was, and Van Carla Vanessa, right? Okay, to share. Van, please share the screen. Give me a second. Vanessa, Noemi, all right. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Okay, teacher, for us, the most relevant advantage of prototype is the identified flaws, flaws that were not foreseen in the design stage uh, because the purpose of the prototype is identify the flaws before launch launch it launch it uh, to the market and improve it okay all right and uh, the less relevant least relevant uh-huh least least relevant is elicit feedback from <laughs> customers or early adopters because it is the last step after customer try the product uh, they give a feedback to continuous improvement okay all right thank you mariano mariano very good okay let's see and anna's and vicky's group um what can you tell us what what did you as the most relevant and the least relevant, Anita, with Vicky. I'm going to share the screen. Go ahead. Igual si gusta, leo yo la primera y van y vi que así la siguiente, para que la mude a todos. Ok. Eh, bueno, nosotras pusimos como número uno, verify the functionality of the product. Y identify flaws that were not foreseen in the design stage. Ok. Eh, the second one, no sé si van está por ahí. Okay, uh, we choose this because uh, the first step of the advantage of uh, making a prototype is to see if there is no any flow in the product, to see the functionality of the product. And this is why we choose the, the verify the functionality of the product. Okay, all right. And go ahead. And the, okay. Um, and number six, um, that is the least, but not last, <laughs> uh, is elicit feedback from customers or early adopters. Uh, this is, we choose this because uh, at the end, we need to know the customer's opinion. Okay, 
All right. That's all. All right, very good. I think most of the groups were pretty much like in the same uh, pattern here. All right, thank you, girls. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, Anita, you may stop sharing screen. Thank you. All right, guys. Thank yeah, thank you. Let's go on then with this. This is like not right or wrong. This was really up to you. All right. So that's why we just like, we just wanted to check what you guys thought about it. Let's go right now to page 27. All right. And let's see. Um, maybe, let me see here. Let's see. Um, Chamba, can you please read? I will be able to. So, microphone, Chamba. Okay. I will be able to design a basic plan for the manufacturing process of the a new product. All right, very good. I will be able to design a basic plan for the manufacturing process of a new product. Excellent. Let's see, what about Rafael? Can you read number one? Let's start. Okay. Dajit company manufacturing product in our, our production process of direct frequently. Is there a quickly control department of your company? Thank you. All right, very good. So here we have a couple of questions. Number one, it says, does your company manufacture products? Number two, are production processes updated frequently? Number three, is there a quality control department at your company? All right, so we're gonna talk about this, but not right now. What I want us to do is to read the um, conversation and then get to the grammar point that we need to concentrate on this. Now here it says, three managers are in a meeting to discuss the production process of a new shampoo. Read the conversation and take turns practicing. Okay, so here we have Lucia, Marta and Greg. All right, so Lucia says, I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we're ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right, I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if there is the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about, okay? So here are three people, as we read, they are three managers in a meeting discussing the production process of this product that in this case is a shampoo, all right? Now, ya nos vamos a concentrar en lo que está en negrito y luego vamos a ver de qué se trata todo esto. But right now, I need uh, you guys to practice the conversation. So, um, Ever, I want you to be Lucia. Mariano, I want you to be Marta. And Oscar, I want you to be Greg. Okay, Jay. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like you to reverse the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right, I'd like you to know this a quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point. Greg, Marta, would you mind telling would you mind would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find off 
No. Could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify clarify what the revision step is about. Thank you. All right, very good. So what I'm trying to do, mientras van leyendo, voy tratando de catch up with some of the words that we need to um, be careful with. All right. A ver, um, I, es, acuérdense que esto ya lo hemos visto, esa contracción es I. I like us. All right, esto es todo unido. I like us to revise. All right, esto es revise. Este por aquí me quedó, pero también lo iba a seleccionar. Es control. No, control es control. Quality control. All right. Mind. All right. Would you mind? Esa N tiene que sonar por ahí y luego find out if. Find out if. Would you find out if? Find out if. All right. That's how you pronounce it. Very good. Thank you. A ver. Um, Walter, you're going, voy a borrar aquí. Walter, you're going to be, ay, no puedo borrar, ¿por qué no puedo borrar? Anyway, ¿por qué no puedo borrar? Ah, oh, sí, ya borré. <laughs> All right, Walter, you're going to be Lucia, Carla Vanessa, you're going to be Marta, and Debbie, you're going to be Greg. Ustedes empiecen a leer en lo que yo estoy borrando. I'm wondering if you receive a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, you. Thank you, Lucia. <laughs> Perfect. I'll I use to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control steps should be repaired once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point. Greg, Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Excellent, thank you. All right, again, here, I wonder if you received, con de al final. I wonder if you received, y luego tenemos production. All right, yo sé que es una U, pero suena como una A. Production, igual que abajo es I like us. All right, luego control. It's not control, it's control. All right, repeated. Y finished. All right, esas, esas. Terminaciones con ED son importantes. So it should be repeated and finished. Otra vez, mind. All right, esa N tiene que sonar. All right, very good. Thank you, guys. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Um, Domingo, you're going to, uh, let's see. Vamos a ver. Uh, yeah, Domingo, you are Marta, Vane, Noemi, you are Lucia. Si puede, Vanesita, porque no sé cómo se siente ahora. Si no, cambiamos. Claudita, no sé si puede participar. Yes, teacher. Excellent, Claudia, so you're Greg. Solo déjeme borrar aquí. All right, guys, empiecen a leer en lo que yo borro. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. Production process. Mm -hmm. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I like us to revise the steps to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right. I like to know if the quality control is still short, be repeat once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. 
Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, less my friends, my friends. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about. Very good, thank you guys, all right. All right guys, this is control. It's not control, it's control. The quality control, all right? Esta sería, of course, revise files, okay? Control, of course, revise files. Perfect, very good, thank you. All right. Um, Jorge, can you please be Lucia, Jorgito? Carla Benazir, no sé si puede participar, Carlita. All right, maybe not Carla Michelle. Please be Marta, Carla Michelle. Okay, uh, Michelle. Anna, thank you. Anna Abner, can you please be Greg? Greg. Yes. Start reading, please. Okay, perfect. All right, oh. start reading. ¿Quién es Lucía? Ya no me acuerdo. Ah, Jorge, right? Jorgito? Jorgito is not here, possibly. No, Jorgito was here. Jorge, yo lo vi. Perdón. Ahí está, ve, Jorge. <laughs> Jorge, ¿me escucha? Sí, no me escucharon. No, no me escucha. Jorge. No. Pero usted vuelva a decirlo, no se preocupe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if you receive a copy of the analysis for the product process. I the have some process. Perdón. I, I have, thank you, you. I have, thank you, you, Lucia. Perfect. I like use to receive the steps to verify that we are ready, ready to start, um, permítame que me tapo aquí, to start product, producing or new shampoo. Excellent. Um, right. I'd like to know if the quality con control steps Excellent. should be repeated <laughs> once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point. Red, Marta, would you mean telling us if the cost to run to, to room a second quality control will go very very high? Of course, they may revising my failures. Greg, could you could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify. Clarify Excellent. what the revision step is about. Excellent, Jorgito. Very good. Thank you, Jorge. Thank you, Michelle, and thank you, Abner. All right, igual. Received analysis, thank you, all right? No decimos thank you, you, el you ya va, all right? Thank you, no le tenemos que agregar otro you, thank you. Luego tenemos us, mind, run, control, revise, files, okay? All right, si se fijan hay varias, um, Palabras que se repiten eh, dentro de las personas que vamos participando, lo cual está perfecto. Pero la idea es ir tomando nota e ir apuntando 
para seguir mejorando with the pronunciation, ¿ok? A ver, el, las últimas tres personas, vamos a ver. Necesito volunteers, ¿no? No sé quién más pueda participar ahorita, no sé si Anita. Mi teacher. Ay, mi teacher. Eh, sí, me gusta que todos quieran, excelente. Solo que todos me dijeron mi teacher y hoy ya no sé quién fue. Mi. Mi Abner, no. No, no era Abner, mi Ever. No sé quién dijo mi Roberto. Ah, Roberto, very good. Ok, Roberto y Lucía. Chamba no ha participado, Chamba. No, Miss. Excelente, Chamba. Usted va a ser Greg y necesito un Marta. Mi teacher. Tiki. Yes. Excelente. Ok, entonces, eh, let's start, guys, please. Yo borro aquí. Ok. I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd, I'd like, uh, I'd like us to review the step of, the step stop to verify that we are ready to start producing our new shampoo. Right, I like to know if the quality control step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point, Greg. Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course. Let me revise my files. Excellent. Greg, would you find out if the production manager is around. I need him to clarify that the revision step is about. Excellent, thank you. Se lo voy a quitar. All right, very good. Revise. Revise es la que nos quedó aquí y control. No es okay, control. Teacher. All right, es control. Eso es para todos. Very good, thank you. Es para todos, ¿verdad? No me digan control, es control. All right, póngale, pero de verdad escríbalo porque si yo mañana pregunto y me, alguien de ustedes me dice control, de verdad que lo voy a poner ahí a saltar o a hacer pechadas, no sé, algo lo voy a poner a hacer, pero es control la fuerza de voz va en la última, no es control, es control <ríe> alright, please, 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 please please alright, ok, esa si se fijan, esa la subrayé mil veces, ah, no, no, mil verdad, estoy exagerando, pero <ríe> alright, quiere decir que esa, esa tenemos que trabajar mucho alright, es control, ok Very good. Se las voy a leer. Usted véalo ahí. Bueno, no se las voy a... Sí. Déjeme ver. Se las voy a volver a leer. Tome nota de la pronunciación. Vaya escribiendo. ¿Sabe que cuando... Yo no sé si ustedes lo hacen, pero yo lo hacía hace miles de años. Ya aprendí esta, este idioma tan bonito. Yo me acuerdo que escribía la palabrita como yo la escuchaba. Ustedes hacen eso. Sí, no. Qué barbaridad. Chamba. Y entonces... <risa> Solo vi a Chamba que dijo que no, pero no sé los demás, de verdad no lo hacen. Quiero verles la tarifa. Just to share. Sí, él yes. dice que sí, Mariano también, te di que sí. Walter, no, qué barbaridad, Walter. Y Carla Vanessa, Rafael y los demás que no veo. Ah, muy bien, Rito. Excelente. Ok, Chamba, a partir de ahora, cada vez que yo diga pronunciación, quiero que me enseñe. Y tiene cuaderno, por lo menos, Chamba. Yes, Miss. Ah, vaya. <risa> All right, ahí lo tiene que escribir a partir de ahora. Muy bien, Chamba. All right, veamos entonces. Please pay attention, ok. All right, entonces dice, I wonder if you received a copy of the analysis for the production process. I have, thank you. Bueno, voy a seguir, después le digo. I have, thank you, Lucia. Perfect. I'd like us to revise the steps to verify 
that we are ready to start producing. Sorry, guys. Our new shampoo. Right. I'd like to know if the quality control a step should be repeated once the product is finished. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Greg, Marta, would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Of course, let me revise my files. Greg, could you find out if the production manager is around? I need him to clarify what the revision step is about, okay? Ahora, me detuve acá porque les iba a hacer como el comentario. Este I have es decir sí, all right? Si usted se fija, dice, I wonder if you received a copy, all right? Si usted ha recibido la copia del análisis del proceso de producción. El I have es decir sí, gracias, all right? I have, thank you. Si yo le digo, por ejemplo, have you, no sé, have you done the platform? Usted me dice, I have, sí. I have. Lo que me está diciendo es, very good, Debbie. <laughs> All right, lo que usted me está diciendo es, sí. All right, no me está diciendo, yo tengo. No lo traduzca como yo tengo. All right, es cuando le pregunto, do you live in San Miguel? Yes, I do. O me dice, I do. Sí. All right, lo único que está diciendo ahí es yes. All right, pero en este caso decimos I have, thank you. All right, entonces también es como en, entender, nos ayuda a pronunciar mejor si realmente estamos entendiendo el contexto de todo lo que estamos leyendo y aparte, obviamente, igual que en español, la puntuación. No decimos yes, I have, thank you. ¿Verdad? Hay una coma. Yes, I have, thank you. Ahora hay una pausa ahí, ¿ok? Entonces también tenemos que hacer, recordar esas allá como por segundo grado. <ríe> All right, de las pausas de eh, los signos de puntuación, ¿ok? Entonces, that also is really important when we are reading. Ok, no sé si se queda alguna palabra que usted quiera que le vuelva a repetir. Mañana de verdad que voy a hacer un quiz así, el, nomás entremos a clases, no, nomás entremos, no, nadie va a entrar temprano. Allá por, allá, no sé, en algún momento. All right, ¿no? Rafael, you have a question, ¿no? Ya, yes, teacher. Uh -huh. este, me parece que hay en la lectura que, más que todo, en, en la production, uh -huh. que la, la U se va por A. Sí. Y en una, usted la leyó, lo pasó por U. No sé, y producing. Si es producing, uh -huh. no le agregamos la... Lo que pasa... Porque aquí, Sí, lo que pasa, Rafael, acuérdese que eso es como el, el, el truco del inglés, ¿verdad? Acuérdese que en español nosotros tenemos cinco vocales y solo hay cinco sonidos. La A sí. va a sonar A, la E, E, la U, U y la I, I, etc. Mientras que en inglés no. En inglés tenemos cinco vocales, pero son 11 o 12 sonidos diferentes. Entonces, tenemos las vocales que nosotros fonéticamente le, le decimos vocal larga y vocal corta. Entonces, a veces la U va a sonar como A oh, y no es una A ah, nuestra, así como Ana, ah, ¿verdad? Sino que es una A. Oh. All right, es más cerrada. Entonces, a veces suena como una A oh, y a veces suena como una U. Uh. All right, va a depender, Rafael, de hecho, este, por decirla, esta materia de fonética la damos en la universidad y nos dura todo el ciclo, ¿verdad? Entonces, es, es nada más ir eh, tratando de... de Darnos cuenta cuando esa U va a sonar como O y cuando va a sonar como U. Entonces, por eso en este caso, Rafael, teníamos la primera es production. Y, la, y si se fija, us también. Donde dice, I like us to revise. Y la otra que usted me decía. Eh, eh, production. Product, por ejemplo, suena como U, product. Mm -hmm. Eh, igual, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, hay unas que van a sonar como U, hay otras que van a sonar como una A, All right? dependiendo del fonema que le sigue, entonces ahí es donde, donde tenemos que ir como dan, dan, 
ir dándonos cuenta cuando pronuncio como A y cuando como U. Entonces, ahorita por eso es importante la repetición, porque no les voy a dar una cátedra que dura seis meses en un ciclo de la universidad en dos horas. All right, pero es como, ahora ten, tenemos que grabarnos que decimos production, por ejemplo, no decimos production. All right, we say production. All right, entonces, esa, por eso es la repetir y repetir mía, ¿verdad? Porque that way you understand it here. Ok. Very good. Thank ok, you. teacher. Thank Excellent. you for helping. You're very welcome. A ver, anybody else? No? Teacher, is, uh, I have, is, is, uh, does it siempre, uh, como decir sí en, en cualquier ocasión? O, sí, o, si ese es el tiempo verbal que está usando Domingo, va a ocupar I have. Y cuando decimos yes, echo. Sí, lo que pasa es que, lo que le voy a decir, ¿Cómo decirle? Cuando nosotros decimos, por, por decir, yo le digo, do you live in Santana? O se me dice, yes, I do. Ese yes, I do es bien aprendido. Entonces, mm -hmm. cuando es más fluido, yo le digo, do you live in Santana? Y me dice, I do. Ya no me dice el yes. Solo me dice, I do. Ese I do me está diciendo sí. Si usted ha visto alguna película, que yo supongo que sí, cuando se va, la, el, el muchacho o la muchacha le pide que se case. ¿Verdad? Y ella le dice, I do, all right, acepto casarme con usted o con esa persona o con ella o con él o contigo, all right, entonces decimos, I do, all right, entonces evitamos o omitimos el yes, I do, lo usamos mucho cuando estamos aprendiéndolo, all right, pero una vez más fluido yo le digo, did you do it? Y usted me dice, I did, y con el I did usted hace esto, I did, es como, sí, lo hice, ajá, cabal, eso, all right. Entonces, el yes I do, o el yes I did, el yes I have, es válido y lo usamos mucho cuando estamos todavía como tratando de despegar con el idioma, ¿ok? Pero no necesariamente okay. lo va a usar siempre. Si se fija ahí, le dice recibió no sé qué y le dice I have, no le dice yes I have, solo le dice I have. Es como una forma informal. Lo que pasa es que quizás no informal, sino que más fluida. Más nativo. Ah, es más nativo que le dicen. Ajá. Es como cuando yo le pregunto a usted, what is your name? Y usted me dice, my name is Domingo Alexander González. Eh, bien largo. Pero vengo yo y le digo, what's your name? Y usted me dice, Domingo. Ya no, ya no me necesita decir, my name is Domingo. All right. Mm -hmm. Lo usamos como para entender, ¿verdad? Y llegar a, a esa comprensión donde usted por una, una, ya... De forma natural, usted sabe que yo le digo, what's your name? Y se me dice Domingo. All right. Okay. Yeah, very good. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Anybody else? No more questions. Apréndanselas ahora que mañana les pregunto esa conversación otra vez. All right. Very good, guys. Okay. Tenemos todavía un par de minutitos acá. Vamos a ver. Let's go back to the um, conversation. Aquí tenemos, I wonder if. Ahora right, eso se las voy a poner en rosadito. I like pink. I wonder if tenemos I'd like to know the quality control, blah, blah, blah. Uy, se me fue en yellow, that's fine. All right, and here we have pink again. Okay, and then we have this one. Okay, so here we have, I wonder if you received a copy. I'd like to know if the quality control step should be repeated. Would you mind telling us if the cost to run a second quality control will go very high? Could you find out if the production manager is around? Ponga la atención a esas cuatro. All right, todas son igual de importantes. Una se me fue en amarillo, pero fue sin querer. All right, entonces aquí, Quiero que lo revisen y me digan qué encuentran de similar en todas esas que yo subrayé. Hay algo que, es, que está en todas. Ahora right, les doy un minuto para que lo vean. Denme un segundo. It. If. If. Aquí estoy yo, 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 yo,
If, ah, Leti está diciendo conditional. All right, ok. If, yes. All right. Entonces, para empezar, tenemos que identificar que en la primera dice, I wonder qué. If. If. En la segunda, I like to know. If. 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 Would you mind If. telling us? If. If. Ajá. And could you find out? If. If. All right. Okay. Entonces. Yeah. Don Jorge. And yeah. in all of these sentences, guys, we are talking about if. All right. We're using if. Okay. Ahora, aparte del if, do you find anything else that is similar in some of the sentences? They use the tool. Uh -huh. Ah, all right. Very good. A ver, so here we have, for example, would you mind, would, tenemos could, mm -hmm. y el could. I'd like to, ¿qué sería, Oscar? Esa contracción. I would. I would, I very would. good, would, okay. So would, sure. could, ¿qué otra tenemos ahí? La primera. I wonder. Wonder. All right. Ahora, would, could, eh, yeah, esas son las que más estamos usando ahí. Wonder, que se nos va igual. Estamos hablando de modal verbs, pero más que verbos modales, estamos haciendo una pregunta. All right. I wonder if, I would like to know if, uh, would you mind telling us if? Could you find out if, all right? Hay preguntas ahí. A esas preguntas les vamos a llamar así. Les vamos a llamar indirect questions, all right? No se preocupe ahorita de ver aquí abajo. What is an indirect question? Who can tell me what is an indirect question? Solo con el nombre, all right? Cuando se le dice indirect question, what comes to your mind? Teacher. Yes, Leti. It's a way to be polite to talk about in another place. It's a way to be polite to talk or to ask, Leti. Um, to talk. Okay. Or maybe ask about it. Okay. All right. Anybody else? A ver, Leti nos está diciendo es a polite way to to talk. Maybe. Uh -huh. What is indirect questions? What are they? ¿Se nos ocurre algo más? No? Mariano, what do you say? Uh, I don't know, teacher, but I, is when the question is not focused in, in, one, in the same person. Uh -huh. Or it's, it's indirect. That. Okay, all right. Okay, very Al good. Que la cacho. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good, Mariana. That's a good idea. All right, now when we talk about indirect questions, y Leti tiene razón, it's a very polite way to ask, not to talk or not to say, but it's to ask questions. All right, and I'm going to show you this. Igual, yo sé que ahorita vamos a empezar el tema, mañana lo vamos a continuar. Tenemos nada más un par de minutos, but I want you to see this. All right. Vamos a ir acá. Indirect questions, all right? And then we have this one. I want you to read this with me. A ver. Yo voy a hacer mi donde dice mi. And vamos a ver. A ver, Ever, usted es la person in the street, okay? A ver, ready, Ever? Okay. All right. Excuse me. Could you tell me where the nearest station is? Certainly. It's along that road on the right. Thank you. And do you know if there is a supermarket near here? Yes. There's one next to the station. Thank you very much for your help. Okay. Thank you, Evan. <laughs> All right. Thank Veamos you. la conversación acá. Donde dice me, la persona que está preguntando, excuse me, 
could you tell me? Esa es, así empezamos una indirect question. Con una frase que es muy educada. Usted le está preguntando a alguien desconocido o puede ser dentro de su trabajo, pero no tiene como mucha confianza o es alguien así como que whatever, ¿verdad? Que apenas si usted habla con esa persona, ¿all right? Entonces, could you tell me, usted no llega, no, yo no llegué donde Ever y le dije, Ever, where, o sea, si yo lo conozco, si yo llego donde Ever y le digo, where is the nearest station? Y la pregunta es directa, where is the nearest station? Pero como es una pregunta indirecta, vamos a hacer dos cosas. Una, voy a poner una frase educada, all right? Como por ejemplo, could you tell me? Luego pongo where. Ya no le pongo where is the nearest station, sino que pongo el is al final de la pregunta. Could you tell me where the nearest station is? Ok, y Ever me contestó, certainly, it's along the road on the right. Thank you. Y sigo. And do you know, ese do you know, igual que el could you tell me, es una forma educada de seguir preguntando. And do you know if there is a supermarket near here? Yes, there is one next to the station. Thank you very much for your help. Entonces, cuando hablamos de indirect questions, vamos a hablar de eh, frases como could you tell me, do you know, all right? Y vamos a seguir viendo otras, eh, obviamente, mañana. Ahora, dice acá, use indirect questions when I'm asking for help in the street, for example, because they are very polite. Indirect questions start with a phrase like could you tell me or do you know? Siempre vamos a anteponer algo más educado. En este ejemplo tenemos could you tell me o tenemos do you know. Direct question. La pregunta directa es where is the bank? All right. Pero la pregunta indirecta o the indirect question is could you tell me where the bank is? Okay. A ver. Pensemos antes de irnos. Voy a dejar de compartir aquí un segundito. ¿Puedo? A second teacher. Ok. Captura, Ever, captura. <risa> Después no la ve. Eso es lo que pasa. Mejor que lo escriba y déjelo de él. <risa> Ok, en lo que Ever termina de escribir ahí. All right. Quiero que todos y todas me pregunten dónde estoy, pero usando una indirect question. All right. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. All right. ¿Dónde estoy? Quiero que me pregunten dónde está. Usted, yo. All right. Pero de forma indirecta. Okay. Will you tell me where you are? Uh -huh. A ver, Chamba, could you tell me? Could you tell me where, where you are? Okay, ¿por qué dudó, Chamba? Because I estaba metiendo el do. Where do you are? Ay, yes, where... All right, okay. All right, that's okay. A ver, otra opción. Could you tell me where you are? Me dijo Chamba. Could you, Could tell, you me tell me where, where do you live? A ver, después, ya, ya le escucho a Oscar. Dígame, Debbie, could you tell me? Could you tell me where do you live? Ok. A ver, Oscar. Could you tell me where do you there? Ok. ¿Otro más? Teacher, could you tell me where it is? Ah, ok, all right. ¿Alguien más? ¿Uno más? Y así de uno en uno todos, ajá. Can you tell me where, where you take, teach us? Ok, all right, ok. ¿Alguien más? All right, fíjense que, fíjense la, 
lo que quería que me preguntaran era tan simple como dónde está. Si fuera una pregunta directa, ¿cómo la hicieran? Where you are. Where are you? Where are you? Ok, muy bien. La pregunta directa es esta. Se las voy a poner aquí y ya casi nos vamos. Yo sé que nos tenemos que ir. La pregunta directa es esta. Que no me deje escribir. There. Where are you? Así hemos aprendido hasta el día de hoy que tenemos que formular una pregunta. Una WH question, luego va el verbo be, luego va el sujeto porque es pregunta, ¿cierto? Pero en una indirect question es exactamente lo que Chamba hizo. Para empezar, pusieron, could you tell me, all right, oh, uh, could you tell me where you are, all right? Le damos vuelta. Ya no decimos, where are you? Hoy decimos, could you tell me where you are? Debbie dijo, could you tell me where, no me apunten esta, where do you live? All right, esa sería, esa es un, ahí como la tenemos es una mezcla. All right, la tenemos que no mezclar y nos quedaría así. Could, uy, could you, me faltó aquí, perdón. Could you, could you tell me where you live nada más. Le quitamos, omitimos el do. All right. Ya no vamos a ocupar ni el do, ni el does, ni el did, ni el will, ni nada de esas cosas. Si fuese un verbo to be, hacemos lo que hicimos ahí, lo que Chamba nos dijo. Could you tell me where you are? Y el are va al final. All right. Si hacemos una oración como las que nos dijo Debbie, quitamos el do, ya no lo necesitamos, all right, y ponemos nada más el verbo. Ahora, si yo vengo y le pregunto, ¿a dónde vive Jorge? Could you tell me where Jorge qué? Could, could you tell me where Jorge qué vive? Lives. Lives, muy bien, excelente. Ya no llevo el das ahí, ok. All right. En una pregunta directa fuera, where does Jorge live? Pero en este caso ya no es una pregunta directa, entonces decimos, could you tell me where Jorge lives? Omito el does y por lo tanto necesito ese S, la S en ese verbo. ¿Ok? Los voy a dejar con esto. Mañana seguimos obviamente con este tema. ¿Ok? So, aparte de la pronunciación de la conversación que vimos. Rapidito la, la, la asistencia. Abner Eli Fuentes Flores. Present. Adela Trinidad González Consuegra. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Arias de Gómez. Present. Daniel Antonio Luna. Domingo Alexander González. Present. Ever de Jesús Candrae Montano. I'm still here. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José Roberto Martínez Bernabé. Present. Carla Benacir Lara González. Carla Michelle Brizuela Portillo. Present. Carla Vázquez de Ayala. Present. Kevin Esteban Mejibar Merino. Leticia Guadalupe García de Miranda. Present. Mariano José Paca Santa María. Present teacher. Oscar Arnulfo Villatoro Herrera. Present. Rafael Ernesto Hernández Sandoval. Present teacher. Salvador Augusto Sorto Rivas. Present Miss. Vanessa Noemí Reyes Lemos. Present. Walter Omar Castaneda Perlera. Ana María Palacios Araujo. Present. Thank you. Miki Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Ismar Ulises Martínez Ortiz. And Debbie Jasmine Giron Ramirez. Present teacher. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining class today. All right. I'll see you all tomorrow. Seguimos mañana con las indirect questions. Have a good night. Bye. Bye now. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night, good night everyone. Good night.